and there was plenty to celebrate in neighboring Newport on Saturday, as the school's top-ranked football team made easy work of Summersworth in the opening round of the Division III tournament to the tune of a 56-12 victory. And it was no secret the 8-0 Tigers were going to continue to ground and pound the ball with their two-headed horse of running backs Noah Wade and C.J. Lawrence. And that game plan was executed to perfection, with the home team amounting eight rushing touchdowns in the contest. And to the surprise of nobody, it was Wade who led the way with an impressive five-touchdown effort, including huge scoring runs of 75 and 85 yards. Lawrence added three scores for Newport with his strong north and south running, helping to put the Hilltoppers in a hole it couldn't recover from. I spoke with Newport's Larry McElreevy after the game, who credited his team's offensive line for creating the holes that allow his backs to excel. Well, that's what I mean. You know, I was a lineman. I coached line a, a lot of my life. Bill Thurlow has done a great job with them, and they, they know that. They know nobody's going to you know, jump, and, jump up and down with them, and I tell them that. I said, you're not going to get the pretty girls and make the big money. You, know, you guys are the best they're going. So they, they have fun, and they go ahead and do it. And uh, they, They're a great group of young men. The Tigers are now 9-0 overall and will host a strong team in Bow in the semifinals Saturday at 1 p.m. Now taking a look at the YCN scoreboard, the second-seeded Bellows Falls football team didn't have an answer for top-ranked Burn Burton during Saturday's Division II championship, scoring just one touchdown in its loss to the Bulldogs. Kearsarge, Lebanon, and Stevens were also involved in tournament games Saturday, with all three teams coming up a little short on the scoreboard. That does it for your look at local sports. I'm Mike Pizzone.